Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Now, rear wall, got some plate. Not long enough, gonna have to do a join somewhere. That's alright, I don't really mind. So, this is gonna be the other bit. Um, I'm probably gonna do the join just right in the center because the um, license plate is gonna be covering most of it. You only see a little bit, but no stress. I'd rather that than do a little bit in the corner or something. Um, tail lights also came. Just an eBay special. Um, they just popped through, they came, came in those, um, they just pop in and out, that, that's why I liked them, because it doesn't have to be precise, you can just, yeah, do a rough bit, but, um, yeah, obviously I popped them out, so I'm just using this as a bit of a stencil, I've cut that to the shape, um, I'm going to fit, like, same with the other one, cut the side first, before I cut the size, just to make sure everything's mint, and I'm not getting too short, um, and then I just put that on the other way around. I'm just gonna do the same as the other side, just hard in, hard in down there. And then I just trace the holes. And that is exactly how I'm gonna do it. Here we are. Haven't touched them up yet or anything. That's just with the cutting disc. Um, so they're a little bit in from the line, like just. A couple cuts might go a little bit over, but no stress, the rubber and the lights cover it. Um, Obviously the holes that came out. Um, I was just doing it with the, the grinder, just heaps of little ones punching through around it. Um, and then I'll clean it up with a flappy disc and get it smooth. Uh, that should do the, do the job pretty well. That's the arse end, just mocked up. All the holes drilled, cut in the middle. Um, fits pretty snug. Um, lights pushed in pretty tight, which what I like, so they're not going anywhere. Um, obviously, I can still get them out, the paint and stuff, but um, nah, looking all right. Fucking forgot the video, but um, I, I've clean sweeped it, fucked off all the tabs. I, it just wasn't suiting my brain right. Um, and because I'm running in an alley sheet on top, not steel, so spans aren't as great. I need more to screw it down to because I'm going to screw it so it's removable, get to fucking all the batteries and everything underneath. Um, so just fucking thin um, angle, um, all evenly spaced around the edges, three down the middle, and then obviously the two, the, um, <coughs> the uh, joists going the other way. So it, uh, it looks beefy and shit, but it's actually still quite light and then with the alley sheet on top instead of steel it's actually it, it'll be fine um but i'm a lot more happy with how this is looking uh rather than just the tabs and shit um and i've got more uh angle which are going to be uh running this way to pick up the um flares because um they would yeah they were tabs as well and i was just not not vibing the tabs scrubbies Tie downs, whatever you want to call them. I will have them for the looks of scrub, scrubby style wise. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be tying anything off them, but yeah, tie down points as well. Um, so I got a, I got a bender, a new bender for this. Um, and just simple, just got three points. So I worked from the furthest away because that was closest to the end. And it was just, I just did, so I bent out that one, then that one, then that one. Just so it didn't didn't kink the, um, the bar like straight up, um, and then I just sat it against a flat surface, measured twenty to twenty mil to that lip from a straight surface, um, and then I just like kind of scribed a line through and cut it there. So that's either side. They came up all right. Tabs on. I was going to go two, but. Yeah, it was already sturdy enough, so one will do. Um, and then I've just got all these angles that will pick up the flares and then the, the uh, under tray box. Also, the uh, rear wall is uh, welded in. Um, don't know if you can see, uh, but you can kind of see the grind mark there. That's where uh, it was joined, just grinded back. Um, well, I take the paint though smooth that all out and paper look nice. And there's the rack. 
Um, just some of that, some of that angle down there. It's just some left over. Um, and then just drilled holes through, and then did the same as I did down here. Um, I just uh, hold on. I just welded some bolts in, grinded it flush, so then I can just go straight in. Don't have to worry about anything on the other side. Um, I made sure it was tight to get a bit of pressure pushing the ladder rack back because um, it's just bolted out the front, so I'm just pushing the back so it's sitting on the back edge as well. Um, and just to hold it all a bit more tight and sturdy. But uh, yeah, really taking shape. All right, flares. I uh, just did a, the center hole and then just um, drilled two holes 30, side, 30 mil either side of the um, original holes and then grinded it out too. Um, I was just gonna weld them on, but thought, stuff it. Um, so now I can move them out in to suit whatever's going on with the front or whatever I want. Um, and yeah, that's just drilled to the mounts I made. So throw four bolts in that and um, they'll be ready to go. Bam, paint, just like that. Didn't come up too bad. Can still see some grinds and whatnot here there, but it is pretty on point. Not bad at all. Um, now it is just just normal gloss black. Not bad at all. Uh, got the flares in the back of the car and and the uh, ladder rack down in there, and then the rooftop rack is in the yard. Uh... How good does a fresh set of bolts look? It's a million bucks. Ladder rack and rooftop tent rack going on. Toss the lights in. All right, license plate. Uh, center, mark center from both ends. Um, then I just measured what this is. Um, found out what like half of that was. Then I just measured half half to the two outsides, just did a little line on either side for that, and then I measured the gap and the height, of, and then took away the height of the plate, and then divided by two, that leaves equal gap on top and bottom. So I marked them as well, and then I just held it there, and then just marked the, uh, the holes for it. There we go. Pretty much same thing with the two lights, but I just measured off off the lip of the license plate. But um, yeah, same thing for our center. But um, yeah, looks a bit more even. Yeah, looks um probably a bit better than the two little pin lights I had. I can fill it out now. Was onto the uh, wiring of the tail lights. I've just taken the stock plug from the um, the tub lights, and I've just snipped them off at the uh, at the globes. Uh, took photos of them before, so I know I know what is what, what needs what needs to go where. where. But um, yeah, I just wanted to plug, just keep it keep factory plug. Don't have to stuff around with anything that was already there. Um, just simple as easy to take off. Um, I reckon that's the way they go. Um, but yeah, so I took photos of um, which colour it was. We're going to which globes and whatnot. Um, so then it's pretty much just matching them up with whichever ones. Obviously, there's only one with three. Um, the brake and tail light, um, which is that light. 
one, two, three. And then this other second one was the indicator. And then the two small ones were the um, reverse light. Uh, so simple. And with the um, license plate light, because it, it has two on the tub, which makes it a bit easier. So there's two inputs. Um, but sadly, the, the um, plugs for them went straight directly into the lights. So I'll have to, I'll have to go find a plug, the same plug somewhere, so I can just, um, yeah, go straight into them instead of wiring them straight up or anything. Um, just so they're pretty much the same as this, just plug, plug and play, easy. So that's with the heat string. Uh, that's why I do it straight and staggered because it just keeps it slim, easy, like barely even thicker than the um, just the three wires together. Looks neat. Um, and then I just throw it on some conduit as well, and then that will just be getting cable tied to the tabs I put on. Easy. Fast forward a, a fair fucking while, um, obviously. <laughs> um, just threw in a couple of vids here and there. That was like, that was pretty much me taken away as soon as I finished the tray. But um, yeah, it's been been a while since then. Um, also, the last bit was putting on the um, alley. Obviously, just the countersunk rivets, so it's just flat. Um, just flat and then yeah pretty much haven't done much else apart from that um cur currently making a, a few bits and pieces but yeah it works well um i never thought thought i'd be using the rails on the side but before i had the boxes i i used them heaps um as actual tie down rails instead of just the scrubbies uh went full driving as well and as you can see i kicked that in all the way into the steel and it's dented that in as well. I managed to bend it out a bit, but it's a bit of a pain. I should stuff around with it a bit more, but yeah, that throws me off a little bit. But yeah, now the whole tray is full of scratches and everything now. Obviously it's a work car, so it's not perfect anymore, but but hey, it does the fucking trick. Um, but yeah, this video probably, probably, yeah, a bit of a shit rundown on anything, but it's more of just a bit of inspiration of where you can make a tray. Obviously I did on the crush rock and um, it was fucking shocking, but like not many people have mint flat sheds to build shit on. So I was just showing that, yeah, you can't build something somewhat all right on a shit surface and pretty shit tools um, and just fucking make it happen. So yeah, good outcome I reckon, does the job. Um, I'll probably make a, another shit rid on how I made the boxes. Um, that one will probably be shitter than this one. But, um, but hey, is, is what it is. Alright, have a good one.